Here we go. to the screen for the first time is a live action Star Wars series. John Favreau. It takes place about five years after the Return of the Jedi. Mm. Stormtroopers. Follows Amanda Lord. Dave Filoni. This new character is a gunfighter, a bounty hunter, a citizen of the underworld on mm. the outer reaches of the galaxy. It starts off with him bounty just hunting down quarries, making his money. This is a character you've never met before in a period of time that you've never seen. There's just an aesthetic to the Mandalorian that is extremely powerful, mysterious. Uh, what's his face playing this armor the Mandalorian? This harkens to medieval knights. He's relatable. We're all kind of covered in our own armor. Hmm. Here we are, day three. Start a little bit sad hmm. and then move Position. In terms of the directors, I think John chose the team really, really well. Definitely. Obviously, Dave, Bryce, Bryce Dallas Howard. Uh, there she is. Rick, and then Taika. There he is, the, the director of Thor Ragnarok, and he's also doing the voice of IG88. The filmmakers were bringing to the table and wanted to bring that to the world. John Favreau, Dave Filoni, <laughs> mad geniuses. <laughs> Stormtroopers. The series offers the opportunity to introduce new planets, new races and species, mm. new starships. Mm. However, we wanted to feel completely connected and familiar. George it's Lucas. Yeah, because he had visited the set of The Mandalorian. And there was a picture of him and John Favreau. It has the heart that Star Wars has always been about. will feel gritty, it will feel real. Hmm. But anybody could sit down in their seat and watch and enjoy. Hmm. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Ah, uh, that's really cool. Wow. The applause. I do like the poster. I like the poster. It's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Awesome. Can't wait. Hey guys, so that was my reaction to the trailer slash behind the scenes of The Mandalorian. And I gotta say, I am looking forward to uh, seeing this, you know, because... Uh, I you know because I know that I know it's going to be pretty good, especially, especially with it being in the works of you know John Favreau and Dave Filoni, you name it. It's going to be really good. I know, I know, I know it's going to be. Um, and of course, like with the directors, like Bryce ha Bryce Dallas Howard's going to direct an episode. So is uh, what's his fate the the director who who directed Thor Ragnarok. He's going to be directing directing an episode, and he's also going to be voicing the bounty hunter droid IG eighty eight, which that's going to be really cool. Um, another thing is is that because um, again, this looks pr it looks pretty interesting and really cool because. Um, I even, because even dur uh, for the Mandalorian panel, they revealed that they, like, they'll be using models, like ship models, you know, for filming and such, and that's gonna be freaking awesome. That's gonna be really cool, and even they showed clips of them filming the, 
the uh, the models, you know, just that's that's really cool. It's gonna be really cool. And with the stormtroopers, yeah, those stormtroopers, really cool. Um, yeah, I just I'm looking forward to seeing this again. I think I think it's gonna be freaking awesome. Um, can't wait to watch it. Uh, again, with it being in the works of John Favreau and Dave Filoni, you name it, it's just it's just gonna be really cool. I can't wait. Just can't wait. So, anyways, guys. So, with that said, uh, hope you enjoyed my reaction. My my reaction to the to the trailer slash behind the scenes of the Mandalorian. Uh, be on the lookout for more new videos coming your way. They're gonna be awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace out, and may the force be with you.